Hello zusammen, salut tout le monde, buenos dias a todos, and hello from Radiolingua headquarters here in sunny Scotland. Thank you for joining us today for this special news programme. It's the 26th of September, the European Day of Languages, and we are taking this opportunity to make some major announcements for our Coffee Break language learners all around the world. It's been a very busy year for Radiolingua. We've produced two seasons of our Coffee Break Spanish magazine show, we've launched our Coffee Break French verb fix, and we've added German to our range of Coffee Break languages, with thousands of learners joining me in our weekly German lessons with Thomas, Julia and Kirsten. Now, today we have some exciting news, and we are delighted to be able to share it with you. Let's start with Le Français, with French. Coffee Break French continues to be among the top education downloads in iTunes, and this year we've helped our listeners get their fix of French with the verb fix. However, what you've told us you really want is a new series of Coffee Break French, and we're delighted to announce that we've been working very hard to produce Coffee Break French Season 4. For each episode of this new course, I'm going to be joined by Pierre Benoit, and we'll be following a story, a sort of soap opera, if you like, of weekly updates in the lives of four characters. Sylvie, Sylvie's mother, Mathieu and Gabrielle. Coffee Break French Season 4 will be similar in style to Season 3 in that we'll be working from texts written by our four characters and these texts are full of wonderful French expressions, interesting grammar points and idiomatic language. The content is very much aimed at those of you who have already completed Season 3 and it will help you to build your comprehension skills further. OK, so Coffee Break French Season 4 will launch on Monday the 21st of October, but we'll be releasing some sneak preview content over the next couple of weeks. The full course is made up of 40 lessons, and they'll be released over the course of October 2013 through until August 2014. If you're already subscribed to the free Coffee Break French feed in iTunes, then you'll get the new content as soon as it is available. Of course, We'll have a premium version of the course, which will give you access to bonus audio materials and comprehensive lesson notes, helping you to master the language more effectively. Full details of these materials will be available in the next few weeks. OK, time for El Español, for some Spanish news. To date, we have released two 40 lesson seasons of Coffee Break Spanish and then one 40 lesson season of Showtime Spanish, here at Radiolingua, we tend to think of Showtime Spanish as Coffee Break Spanish Season 3, so our next Spanish course will be Coffee Break Spanish Season 4. Now, this new series is not quite ready yet. We're hoping to launch in January 2014. It will be similar in style to our Coffee Break French Season 4, in that it's all based around a story or soap opera idea. And we're sure that you'll really enjoy improving your Spanish further with this course when it launches early next year. However, our Spanish learners don't have to wait until January for some new content from Radiolingua. As you know, we've been releasing episodes of our Coffee Break Spanish audio and video magazine over the past 12 months. And in this time, we've been asked many times by our community why we don't produce an actual magazine aimed at Spanish learners. But what should this magazine be about? Well, Based on listener feedback, we believe that what you're most interested in is getting out there and seeing the Spanish-speaking world. Now, there's lots of content aimed at English speakers about travelling in Spain and Latin America. And equally, there's a huge amount of content out there aimed at native Spanish speakers about the same topic. But what seems to be missing is content written for learners of Spanish about travel and culture in El Mundo Hispanohablante, so that's what we've done. We are going to be launching a new magazine on newsstand for iPad in the next couple of months, which will be aimed at learners and will provide graded articles in Spanish, along with beautiful photography, contributions from the community and some articles in English about Spanish language and culture. We'll be launching on the iPad first and we hope to follow this soon after with versions for other devices too. Of course, since it's a digital magazine, we can include audio and video, along with links and interactive elements, so we're really excited to see this project come to fruition. 
will provide further updates of this project in the next few weeks. We are putting the finishing touches to issue one at the moment, and when the magazine is ready, we'll let you know. So, what other news do we have to share with you today? As you know, we launched Coffee Break German this year. Our German lessons are continuing, and in the next batch of lessons, we'll be providing some great content which was recorded on location with Thomas in Austria. We are sure that everyone following the Coffee Break German course will really enjoy these conversations featuring native German speakers. And what about news of other flavours of coffee currently being prepared in the Radiolingua kitchen? Well, it's too early to give details at the moment, but it's perhaps worth mentioning that there's some dark roasted Italian coffee brewing which should be ready in 2014. Now, there's one other project I'm going to tell you about today. Again, this isn't going to be launched until early 2014, but we think it's time to tell the world about something that we've been working on for quite some time. Hi-Fi French is a brand new course aimed at younger learners of French, and I'm going to hand you straight over to our two young presenters, Emma and Mathilde, who will tell you more. Bonjour, bienvenue à Hi-Fi French. Je m'appelle Mathilde. And my name is Emma. I've come all the way to Paris to see my friend Mathilde, who's going to help me learn some French. Venez avec nous. Je ne parle pas français. I don't really speak that much French. So I'm here to help you. And while we're learning with Mathilde, we get to see some amazing places. The français est difficile. No, it's easy to speak French. English is difficult. No, 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 no. C'est facile. Moi, je t'apprends le français. Toi, tu m'apprends l'anglais. You teach me French and I'll teach you English. Exactement. Nous allons apprendre le français ensemble. We hope that you enjoy learning French with us on High Five French. Alors, on y va? What does that mean? Let's go. OK, on y va. C'est parti. Merci, Emma. Merci, Mathilde. High Five French will feature free audio lessons available from the website and on iTunes, but there's also a range of video lessons, worksheets and ebooks which have been created to help children learn the basics of French along with Emma and Mathilde. Of course, we'll also be providing a comprehensive guide for parents to help you help your children get the most out of the course. If you'd like to be kept up to date with the launch schedule for High Five French, head over to highfivefrench.com now. High Five French is also going to be available to schools in an online version or as DVDs with the full range of printable resources for use in class. We're also very conscious that primary teachers are sometimes not French specialists, so we're working on a teacher's guide which will provide everything you need to help you use the materials effectively in class and indeed answer the questions that your pupils may have about what's covered in each lesson. Again, head over to highfivefrench.com for more information about the course. So, there you have it, our announcements for the European Day of Languages 2013. As ever, all our news will be posted on our website at radiolingua.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash radiolingua, and on Twitter. You can follow Radiolingua, or indeed learn French, learn Spanish, learn German, learn Italian, and now high five French too. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you, merci beaucoup, vielen Dank, muchas gracias, and maybe even grazie molto now, to all our listeners. Thanks for your support, your comments on the website, your iTunes reviews, your participation on Facebook and Twitter, your loyalty and devotion to Radiolingua, and your enthusiasm for language learning. Happy European Day of Languages, and here's to lots of new materials coming your way over the next few weeks and months. Music